Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to get set up with your AI options script. You're going to go to tradingview.com, you're going to type in the ticker that you want to look at, and this we're going to use PayPal for the one hour. And then your script won't load up yet because you won't have it, so we'll just load up the normal chart PayPal on the one hour here. And then what you'll do is you'll go up to FX indicators, click it, go down to invite only scripts, and then you'll see AI options. You can click there and you can add it. Basically, the script is designed to have two outputs. One will be a sell out of the money put or put vertical, and the other will be a buy a leap call. When you sell an out of the money put or put vertical, you want to take advantage of two different things. One is implied volatility, and the other is theta, which is time decay. So, as those options lose value over time. So, that was mainly how it was designed, but we know people also like to buy options when they can. Um, so, we do offer the buy a leap call output so that you can buy a longer term. Uh, options during the right times during traditionally oversold conditions and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your alerts up which are here so you click alert and instead of just having it on paypal you click ai options and then if you want to be alerted for a leap call or if you want to be alerted for the sell the put or if you want to do both you can set up both and you'll click once per bar close you leave it open-ended so they never expire and then create and then you'll be alerted every time the script throws a signal for a leap call or sell out of the money put and if you're not interested in buying options or you're not interested in selling options inside the settings you could say hey don't alert me or don't even show you know sell put or buy leap call you can get rid of either here the next thing we want to talk about is the chart time frame so you're going to want to use the 30 minute or later up until four hours so here's on the 30 minute and then you can go, we were previously on the one hour. Uh, the problem is, is once you go over two hours, it just starts to get a little spread out. So you'll still get signals, really good high quality signals, but um, they are fewer and far between. And also we're gonna be including a watch list for all the securities that you should be selling options on and buying leap calls on. So that's gonna be included uh, with the documentation for AI signals and the script. So it'll tell you exactly which uh, securities that you're going to want to monitor and look at and then actually set up the alerts for and like I said starting at 30 minutes up until uh, four hours. So now I want to give you a little bit of strategy for while you're using it. Also once you sell your out of the money put vertical and so you can see here PayPal is trading at 230. So say you sell a 215 or 210 so a 10 to 15 percent out of the money put vertical. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set a good till cancel order after you place your sell order so it gets executed you're in the position now let's say you sold a 210 put and uh, PayPal goes up to here and it takes just one day and it's up to 240 and you're up say 25% on the position uh, you want to have it set so it'll automatically execute so even if you're not monitoring it it will still uh, you'll be able to buy back the put that you sold or put vertical that you sold um, and you will be able to get your 25%, which is kind of what we recommend um, in that instance. And then also for timing, right? So we're here on January 27th. You want to go about six weeks out. So you'd be looking into the March, early March, mid-March uh, area. So that would be the timing for strike price and then also expiration date for your contracts. Now let's talk about your leap calls. So when you buy a leap call, you're going to want to go 30 to 50% already in the money. So right here, the script executes and calls for buying a leap call and it's trading at 224. You would go down and you would buy, say, the 160 or 170 one year or later date. So strike price, 180, and then you would go out to say this was on March 5th. So you would go out to March 2022 or later. So those are the recommended leap calls. Um, and then that'll give you enough time for PayPal to make its move after and it's in its deep oversold area. Uh, it'll give PayPal enough time to recover, which it obviously did. This was on March 5th and it was already recovered by March 11th. So you could have gotten out here. You can get out here. You can get out here. You can wait if you really like PayPal and you can hold it for even longer. That part's up to you. So now let's talk about what to do when a position goes against you, which is what nobody wants to talk about, but we should show it that way you are equipped for when the situation happens. Now, when you sell an out of the money put vertical, we'll use right here as an example. Let's get rid of this leap call. That way it's a little bit more clear on the chart. So you come in here and you sell this uh, at PayPal trading at 240. You sell the 220 put and the next day, literally from March 4th to March 5th, all of a sudden you're in hot water and it looks like maybe it's going to come down to 220. 
what you can do is you can roll the position, which is you close out this put, so you buy it back, and then you redo it. So implied volatility will be higher on this next day, on March 5th, so you'll collect more premium. So say you roll it down to the 210, and you'd roll it down and out, so you would essentially sell, in which you initially sold the 220 in six weeks uh, out or so, which would put you in mid-April. So this time you would roll it and say, okay, well, how about the 210? And then you do it in, say, September, so three months out, wherever you can um, take advantage of that volatility expansion and that increase in premium for the option. So those would be the ones you'd want to sell. So anytime you find yourself um, getting into a scenario where the position is kind of quickly going against you and you want to buy yourself more time for it to recover, you'll want to roll the position. Okay, so just to recap, make sure your chart is set to 30 minutes to four hours and set up your alerts for the intervals between those two times. And then we're going to send you a watch list uh, for securities that we recommend selling options on and buying leap calls on. And that way you can keep that handy to make sure you're trading the right securities with this strategy. And if you have any questions, please email us. We're happy to help.